Everyone knows that critical minerals matter. That isn't in doubt. We see that every day. We don't need to raise awareness. We need to raise answers. The question we need to pose to ourselves and to everyone gathered here is, what does success look like? What does sustainable mineral development in the Arctic look like? Our conversations today focused on community ownership of mineral sources and development, financing minerals from ground to market, recruiting the necessary workforces and expertise, a dependable, reliable supply chain of critical minerals, and find ways to develop nuanced, targeted, necessary policy analysis and plans. Part of what makes these minerals critical is competition across economic sectors, as well as between nations. Recent decades have seen increased exploration and development in the Arctic, a trend that may accelerate with the increasing demand for critical minerals. In addition to studying the remaining minerals, we're also collaborating under the Arctic Executive Steering Committee's leadership to understand the impacts of legacy mining and provide decision support to help ensure a sustainable future for mining. How can we make this unified case for Alaska and for the country? And I think the first part is is being here, having conversations just like we're having here. The second is finding partners and allies, um, probably some in this room here. The third is we've got to showcase our state so that others can see how much we've got to offer and, and why Alaska is so situated for, for mineral development. We've got to make this a sustained effort. We, we have to build up our state's workforce, We've got to raise up our institutions like the university um, and its core uh, CM program. We've got to earn this reputation that we're a great place to operate. And we've got to do all of this while things are already in motion.